a woman has filed a police report accusing Sylvester Stallone of sexual misconduct from 27 years ago. The Rocky and Rambo actors camp told TMZ that it is aware of the allegation and are contemplating filing a complaint against the accuser. His representatives say they have been told the woman is claiming she was raped, according to TMZ. The Santa Monica Police Department says it will investigate the claim despite the expiration of the statute of limitations, which in California is 10 years for sexual assault or battery. The sexual misconduct allegation isn't the first against Stallone. In the past, his representatives vehemently denied the claims, and sometimes portrayed his accusers as opportunists looking for fame or money. Stallone's attorney Marty Singer, according to TMZ, was ready to file a complaint that his client's latest accuser be investigated for filing a false report. Singer said a media outlet contacted him more than a month ago and said the accuser is alleging that Stallone raped her in his Santa Monica office in 1990. Stallone, 71, admits to having spent three days with the woman in Israel during a movie shoot in 1987, but denies seeing her at all in 1990. Last month, the Daily Mail obtained a 1986 police report alleging that Stallone forced a 16-year-old into a threesome with himself and his bodyguard, Mike DeLuca, at a Las Vegas hotel. The accuser says she consented to have sex with Stallone but not DeLuca, and that Stallone threatened to beat her head in if she told anyone. Var underscore informed equal underscore informed, underscore informed push, embed. In January 2013, the New York Post obtained documents showing that Stallone had reached a confidential multi-million dollar settlement in 1987 with his half-sister Tony Ann Filiti. Filiti, who was 18 years younger than Stallone, had alleged that he abused her for years. Filiti died of lung cancer in 2012. Jacqueline Stallone, mother to both Sylvester and Tony Ann, came to Stallone's defense telling the Post that her daughter was addicted to prescription painkillers and was desperate for cash. In 2001, Margie Carr, an exotic dancer who worked out at the same Santa Monica Fitness Center as Stallone, filed a lawsuit alleging he forcibly pinned her against a wall and tore off her clothes. Related articles photos, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's official engagement pictures police recover hard drive containing original music stolen from rapper Kendrick Lamar's producer's car Chloe Kohansky won The Voice, and here's what former contestants have to say about it TV tonight, Young Sheldon, SNL Christmas special, Survivor 35, finale, new winner crowned amid bombs and flames singer said at the time that Carr's claim was purely fictional and totally without merit, and that she had sold her story to a tabloid prior to filing her lawsuit. Stallone has had a career resurgence following the critical and box office success of Creed, the 1985 sequel to his Rocky films. He co-wrote and will reprise his role as Rocky Balboa in Creed II, but recently dropped out as its director.